So over the past few months, I've been inundated with adverts for DNA tests, blood tests, home, find out whether your auntie's your uncle tests, home, find out whether your baby's yours tests, all over Instagram, all over social, and the guerrilla marketing worked because I ended up ordering one. Now, the only reason I did that was because there was an offer on for uh, re existing customers with a company called Vital. Now, this is a company that I get my uh, supplements off, my vitamins, my minerals on a subscription basis. And they reduced it down from 200 pounds, which is an astronomical amount of money to pay for one of these tests. But it was down to 50 quid. So I thought I may as well try it and we'll make a video of it and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is my honest opinion of one of these home DNA tests. Here's the box. Now, if you've had anything from Vital before, you know that they come in a nice package. I mean, you know, with all due respect, I've paid 200 quid for this. So I was expecting someone to actually come from Vital and take the swab themselves, but it looks pretty nice. Thank you for choosing Vital. We developed this DNA test to help you find out how you can work with your genes to improve your health and well-being. This kit contains everything you need to take a sample. All right, Th that's it. For 200 pound, you're paying for a, a plastic pot. A, um, a biohazard bag. A nice box that can now get recycled or waste. And a guideline on how to actually perform the test. Before starting, I need to register my kit. I'll do that after. I know it says before, but I'm gonna do it after. One swab, one bag, got them both. Do not eat, drink, chew or gum for at least one hour before taking the saliva sample. I've just had a drink. All right, I'll see you in an hour. Step one, gently snap open the lid along the dotted line. Hold the swab by the white cap, taking not care, taking care not. Is it on screw or? Oh, I just took, I just touched it. I was just DNA'd all over it. It should be fine. It just grazed me there, it's fine. Moisten the swab head by placing it on the tip of your tongue. Close your mouth and hold the swab in a, a closed mouth position for 10 seconds. Hmm, 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 Open your mouth slightly and rub it firmly against the inside of one cheek and lower gum for 10 seconds. It might help to place your middle and index fingers against the outside of the cheek to add pressure. Repeat step three on the other side of the mouth for 10 seconds. Is that enough? Yeah? Yeah, DNA. So I've DNA'd all over that. Put it back in. Put the closed plastic tube in the white postage bag provided and pop it in the post. So between here and wherever it's going is, uh, is my DNA floating through the postage system, just waiting to be examined. Okay, we'll contact you when the DNA sample has been received. Your results will be then available on the website within four weeks. Four weeks, I've got to wait now. Oosh. It's time to get the results. But before we have a look at the results, let's check out what they were actually testing for or actually checking for in your DNA. So here you can see the DNA traits and I've got them up on my computer here. Firstly, they're checking iron levels, folate levels, vitamin B uptake, so I guess how your body absorbs vitamin B12, caffeine metabolism, metabolic rate, the fat gene, fat versus muscle, how much muscle versus fat you have in your body and how much, you, I guess, you can, you, can, you can build. Vitamin C uptake, vitamin B6 levels, vitamin D availability, how much available vitamin D you can actually get, I guess. Digestion and IBS, that's quite an interesting one. 
my wife will attest to that. Alcohol sensitivity, I don't really drink anyway, so that's irrelevant for me. Efficient use of dietary fat, how your body can actually store dietary fat and use dietary fat as an energy source maybe. And omega-3 and 6 metabolism as well, again, how you met metabolize, metabolize, metabolize those fats. Let's have a look at the results. So there's the overview, and to look at it like that, you, you might think, well, actually, you're not really telling me anything I probably didn't already know about myself. Or, again, you're just trying to, you're just trying to cover your back. Look, not likely to be sensitive. He might be sensitive to alcohol, but he's not likely to be sensitive. But surely from your DNA, you should be able to work out exactly how sensitive you are to said alcohol. He says, I'm also predisposed to binge eating. And I reckon that goes for every single person in the whole wide world. The majority of people are predisposed to binge eat, whether that's because you enjoy food or you've got external uh, circumstances forcing you to eat as a, as a comfort or a, a stress um, coping mechanism. Likely to be normal, caffeine metabolism, uh, digestion, likely to have issues. Again, my wife can attest to that. So look here, you've got all your vitamins, B6, B12, vitamin C, A, D, iron, omega-3 and 6, and folate as well. And all, again, likely to be low, likely to be normal, not really giving me the substance that I actually want. The fat gene, high risk of obesity. Surely anybody who eats too much has a high risk of obesity. Let's, let's take a, a further look into this and see if we can find out a little more about this result here. So based on your results, you're likely to have a moderately high risk of obesity. Right, it says, what can you do? I reckon it is gonna say, watch what you eat and exercise. That's what I think it's gonna say. As you're likely to have an increased appetite and because you have a moderately high probability of accumulating fat, it is vital to ensure you're eating healthy balanced diet and exercising regularly. Keep your calorie intake and physical activity levels in balance by avoiding sedentary lifestyle where possible. Again, whether I'm at high risk of obesity or low risk of obesity, if I don't eat healthy and I don't exercise, I'm gonna get fat. I don't, you don't need DNA to tell you that. That's common sense. I guess these tests are for people who, who literally know nothing about vitamins, minerals, healthy eating, exercising, anything like that. It's, uh, why you pay 200 pounds for this? I never know. So from all this, I was hoping that I could take this information and actually adapt it to, to enhance my cycling training and enhance my skills, not skills, ability as a cyclist to be able to produce more watts, to be able to increase my FTP, to, to get my weight down to increase my watts per kilo, but I don't really think that's gonna happen. This one's quite interesting, fat and muscle composition. Diet and training certainly helped Arnie become Mr. Universe, but his genes and <coughs> the drugs <coughs> most definitely played a big role too. Your ability to gain muscle mass in response to weight training is influenced by genes. Now, before I even look at this, I know from years of training how hard it is for me to put on muscle mass. Unless I'm gonna, the chances are I'm never gonna be beefcake. Do you know what I mean? I, I know that, but let's see what the DNA says. Chris, you are slightly likely, slightly, likely to develop muscle in response to tr strength training and slightly likely to have reduced fat levels. What? This is about the best bit of information that I've read that actually I go, yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. It's, it's slightly light, again, slightly lightly, that you build more fast twitch than slow twitch muscle fibers. And from my career, career as a, uh, a sprinter on the track, it is apparent that I have very little when it comes to endurance and, and, and a lot when it comes to, to sprinting and fast twitch muscle activation. As a result, it's more likely that you have an increased ability to... What? Wait. First it's saying I'm slightly likely to build um, muscle, and now it's telling me I have an increased ability to gain muscle. <sighs> Do you know what? After all this, I think if I sat down with a pen and a paper and I had a list of all these markers, 
I could have probably made a better judgment call on how my DNA works with these vitamins, minerals, fat gene, muscle to fat ratio. I could have probably worked it out for myself. All in all, if you've got money to burn, then go and burn it on this. But you're not gonna find out much about yourself that you don't already know. I might try a blood test next. See how, see how good they are.